haven't had this overhead angle in a while focus turn on focus off so we haven't had this angle in a while i've not been doing up in the corner but um yeah so i went to hobby lobby as you saw and here is my haul i will also do swatching and stuff but that will be the next october vlog possibly i haven't decided if i want to do everything in one video or make it two separate ones we'll see but i will at least show you what i got so That's a Hobby Lobby. And the first thing I got was this. Now, I was going to get the Dr. P.H. Martin's ink. But this is a lot more ink and it says it's waterproof, which is all I really cared about. And I don't know the difference, so I'm hoping this is fine. It's a lot. Uh, it's also supposed to be light fast and fade proof. And I got all this for five, all all of this for five dollars. So that's what I got. It's handy art black velvet waterproof India ink. Let me come down here. Got me dip pens. I have never used a dip pen before, but this Inktober I want to learn dip pens. Oh, I think there's an instruction booklet in there. That's good, because I know nothing about dip pens. Um, you know what? I'll open it. Oh dear. So here's the one handle. And the other handle. Here's the one nib. Oh boy, come here. Now to get the other nibs open. They do not want to come out. Here are the handles. Okay, they don't extend or anything. So this is one handle. It's 
Also ignore this shadow, that's my tripod. And this is the other one. I do not know what the difference is besides the size and shape, but I don't know what difference that makes. Maybe it's one's easier to hold. Here are the nibs. I do not know the difference, so I will have to test all of these out. I'll have to read the instructions, see how to do it, how to like do something to prep them. This one looks fun for details. I feel like after I test it out, I'll find one I like and I'll just abandon the rest of these, but... Something written on it. What's that? Oh, there's numbers written on them. Okay. I guess that's a size or a style. Okay. There we go. And this one. Now, I know nothing about a dip pen, so this is going to be interesting. But here's the little nibs. Here's that. Now I got that with the ink. to read that because I'm already confused but oh this tells you what the different ones do and stuff okay next thing I got was is water brushes they're just Hobby Lobby brand now I got these because I want to fill each one with a different amount of ink and have different tones of gray so I can like quickly tone things. I might still use like gray, my gray markers and stuff and I might use like some gold accents if I feel like it. I haven't decided. I'll probably just go how I feel but I think I could have ink washes and the way to do that is have like a tiny bit more and I have more with water. I have a lot of ink so even if I don't like it I can try it once. These. They're also different sizes, so I'd probably go like the smallest one would be the darkest, so I can like do little areas and stuff. And then, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'll open this too, why not? Tins, but I bought for the tin because I want to make a little mini watercolor palette. 
That's, that's, that's why I wanted it. This, this is mine already. Um, I'm excited. I have never tried this before. I will be testing this out before I go straight into my sketchbook. My, like, Inktober book. But, um... Yep. <coughs> Today is the day. together and decorate the cover and everything and I'm gonna cut a piece out of this on both sides so when it closes it's a hard cover book and it won't bend and get tore up because I will be sketching on my breaks at work and I just I need a I need a secure book I can't have a book that's gonna get torn apart in my uh, backpack so yeah um, I'm also gonna see if my mother has any beeswax or beeswax because this thread loved to knot when I made my test book. Um, I'll show you my test book. So here is my test book I made. As you can see, I did a piece of cardboard, the same kind as this for the cover, and I glued a piece in. So it is, but I wanted it nice and secure. Sorry for the vacuum noises. Um, but this is my test book. I made another little one just for funsies. This is printer paper though, so it's very thin. Can't do much anything on it actually. So these are my these are my test books. Now I'm gonna make the real one.
takes a long time. My razor blade tip chipped, so you know it's it's going amazing. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven pieces, which is fourteen pages if you do one side, and twenty-eight pages if you did both sides. I'm gonna do. Do more than that. I want I want 32 pages if I did one side. So I'm about half done ish. But I need to make food, so I'll come back to this after I make food. Okay, so here's all the pages. They're not quite exactly the same size, but I ended up not measuring their sizes properly and all kinds of fun trash happened. So we're just gonna sort these by approximate size. These two are the biggest. I'm honestly not sure how these didn't you know, turn out the same size, but you know, it's fine, whatever. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna fold these and not worry about the size. So that's what's next. I'm gonna fold these. <laughs>
Okay, so I pressed it for a bit. Click, I found a rubber band that'll fit. Keep it closed. And here's the book. It's opened pretty well. The pages aren't all the same size. You know, I measured out. Don't ask what happened, but whatever. This took me like five and a half hours to make. This right here will get a sticker or something. Here it is. It's hardcover. I want to print off a small version of the list and put it right here. Thank you. 